everyone, welcome to this episode of Make It Mondays. Since you can't come to the aquarium right now, we are doing what we can to bring the aquarium to you. My name is Alice, I am an educator at the aquarium and I am an artist, I love drawing the animals. So today I'm going to show you how to draw a shark. Now don't be intimidated, this is something anyone can learn how to do. Even if you don't think you're very good at drawing or you think that you can only draw stick people, trust me, you can learn to do this too. This is because complex things are made out of a lot of simpler things. And these are the patterns and relationships that we artists look for when we're observing animals and learning how to draw them. So to start the shark, we start with its very most basic body shape. And for me, when I look at a shark, I see a nice, long, oval like this. Once I have the shark's body shape, I will do a straight line just going through the middle of it like that. And when you make this line, make sure it extends a little bit past both sides of the oval because this will help you map where the head and tail will go. And speaking of head, let's start with the head. And I'm going to come from right about here. And I'm going to make a nice rounded triangle that goes and connects to that. Now that's going to be the upper jaw. I'm going to make the lower jaw by coming back down here. And I'm going to come back out and make a smaller little tri rounded triangle and connect right back to that oval here. Now we're going to go to the other side to do the tail. Um, similar concept, you're going to start from the top of the oval except you're going to kind of go up and out. Now remember, shark tails are heterocircle, meaning the top half is longer than the bottom, so you want to make the top half nice, long, and tall. And once you've made that curve, you're going to come back down and connect to the action line here. And then you're going to curve back out for the bottom half, but remember it's going to be much shorter than the top, and then you'll just connect it right back to the oval like that. So we have our head and our tail, now how do we get all the fins in there? So I'm going to start with the pectoral fins, the ones that kind of jut out from the side, those big side fins. I'm going to come back to about where the lower jaw connected to that bottom part of the oval right here. I'm going to go up a little bit, almost halfway to the action line, about right there. And then I make a triangle that points backwards like that. And there is our pectoral fin. And then to get to that big dorsal fin on the top, I'm going to go from the front of the pectoral fin and you can kind of make like a dotted line that curves back like this. And then once you reach the top, you come up and there's your dorsal fin. And then from the dorsal fin, we're gonna make our pelvic fin come back down this way. And then the pelvic fin is small and just kind of comes out like this. Now from the pelvic fin, we come back up again, just like with the other ones. And there is our smaller second dorsal fin. And the good news with the anal fin is it's really easy. You just go straight across and there's your anal fin. Now we have our basic um, shark body plan and we can add the eye. For the eye, I'll come to right where this oval intersects with the action line. And I'll just make a circle like so. And then I'll give it a little nostril right here. And then if you want to, you can give a bunch of little itty bitty tiny teeth at the bottom because sharks have lots of cool teeth. And from here you have your basic shark. And this is where you can start refining your lines a bit, making them darker. Um, you can add shading, but, and erase if you have an eraser, you can erase and fix some things. But this is how you get your basic start done with your shark. 